What's up, guys? Might look a little different today. That's because me and my buddy Matt, hang on. Hey, hey. Bought ourselves a little canoe. One hell of a deal. Yeah, 50 bucks a piece. And uh, we got like a $700 worth of canoe. Too. Yeah, look at these oars. So we're out on the Columbia right now. We're gonna try and do some uh, smallmouth fishing. I just got a bite, but uh, nothing stuck on right now. Matt's switching to a grub right now because that's what I got on, and um, that's what we've been catching them on usually. So we're gonna try this out. We're gonna make our way down towards uh, a little sandbar spot, hop off and stuff, and we switch to some crankbaits or something. Also, I don't know where it is, but I did bring the mini rig. So we also got that. Literally a good sized bass that just keeps me I got one on that. Yeah. 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 I might need the net, I don't know. Oh, oh we're falling. Okay. Oh yeah, oh good, yeah. Good. Nice. Oh, come on buddy. There we go. First fish of the day, guys. Oh. Ah! There we go. That's a good sized bass. Nice, good start to the day. Yeah, there's no skunks in this boat. Oh, I got a good one on guys. I got a good one on. Yep, that's a good one. Oh gosh, yep. Nice, buddy. Oh, I got it, I got it. Whew. Come on, he smacked this one down. There we go. Yeah, that's bigger than the last one. There he goes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get on video twice, but Matt broke his first pole before we even got here. And now Matt broke his second pole. Okay, the second. I don't know how it broke. Yeah. The first one I understand. We literally, it got stuck in a a dock thing and it just ripped and broke completely off but that understand i mean i know this is my oldest pole it's not like it's only a couple years Jesus. It has been abused. luckily i brought three poles so i gave matt the ugly stick that i just used to catch hey, that I'm fish i still have like two or three more at home yeah so it's like but i'm gonna put a jig on the mini rig so we're all good yeah so we're gonna head out now and uh head actually right behind me we're gonna head down towards um, there's like some sandbars and stuff like that. Sorry. Try and figure out if we can uh, find some secret spots where they're just sitting there. But this spot's good so far. Not too bad. Bites, yeah. Man. I didn't catch anything, but got bites. Matt broke another pole, so we're good. I, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> but let's head out. All right, so we're going to take some bathroom. Oh, we got a big log in front of us, Matt. Oh, what is that? Bro, it's a boat. Guys, it's a boat. I bet you that's a good place to catch some fish. All right, guys. Matt's packing his bag up. We got this thing loaded back up. We stopped here for a sec. We had to go to the bathroom and eat some lunch and stuff real quick. But we're going to send the canoe back down the water. Hopefully get into some big smallmouth. It always feels, uh, always feels, what is it, ironic or redundant when you say big smallmouth? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna catch some large smallmouth. I'm gonna catch some large smallmouth. Yeah. That sounds so funny. <laughs> we'll just do this shit. There we go. Matt caught his first fish. Well, well don't make it sound like <laughs> not his first fish ever. Sorry about that. He caught he caught his first fish for the day. Wee little guy, but gotcha. Nice. No scum. All right, we actually made it down to where I fish. Down this. So we're gonna let our uh, we'll let some jigs out. I got this. Uh, it's a worm just on my mini rig, but uh, it's no lie, probably like at least 20 feet deep below us or deeper. Feels good though. All right, so for one thing people don't want to tell you is canoeing hurts your back like Jesus but oh gosh uh, we took a break 
at the uh, dock right now. Matt's down there doing his jig. But we're just gonna take a break and then I think we're gonna head across to uh, all these boat houses and stuff like that. Um, a couple videos ago, if you guys watched, that's where I caught uh, some pretty good sized smallmouth. So I feel like we can get back there and the water's a little bit higher right now. So it'll be easier to trek into there. So hopefully we can get in there and grab some stuff. My wife made me a sandwich real quick. Maybe a sandwich, so I'm gonna eat this real quick. I thought my GoPro was recording, but guys, look at this thing. Oh. oh my gosh. A little freaking rig fishing pole. Oh. I think it's a Northern Pike Minnow. Nice. I could keep this. You get like five bucks for these, but. I don't really have a cooler for it. I guess we have That's a cooler. A good size. That's a good size fish. Very nice. Sir. Nice. Uh, okay, we missed it. We missed it. We are cruising in this thing, guys. Oh my god, guys. I've got a good one on, guys. Oh my god. It's a walleye. Holy shit. Where are the pliers? Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, they fall. Matt, are you freaking happy? Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, put him back. Woo! God damn. Heck yeah! So I'm pretty sure that was a walleye. That was Matt's first one ever, first one I've ever seen in person. I wish we could have got a weight on that thing, but oh my God, there, let's get away from this. Let's get back over the shade. So how do you feel after that catch, Matt? Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good, yeah. And uh, just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, a little cheap, ugly stick. Like, nothing we use costs money. <laughs> no, we catch everything on uh, cheap stuff. Yeah. Well guys, I don't know if we're going to be able to make a video with all this footage and stuff, but I'll for sure have some good shorts for you guys. Clean that off. There we go. Um, we just got done towing this canoe up this hill. It's like bad, but um, hopefully we have enough to make a video. Matt's catch of the day for sure made it um, a video worthy, so if you want to check that, I would. But I hope you guys had a good time. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you.